everybody. So excited to talk to you tonight about manifesting. I'm your host, Denise Dominguez, and what we're going to do for now is I'm going to mute everybody that gets on the call, and we're just going to hang out for a second um, because we had a lot of uh, people register, and so I just want to hang out for a little bit and see who decides to show up. So in the meantime, um, tell us your name and where you're listening from. So in the chat box, I've already put some um, typing in there, some text in there. So just share with us what your name is and where are you listening from. And we're just going to hang out for a second to see who wants to show up because I have some amazing info for you, amazing questions. Um, hi, Elise. Put your name and where you're listening from in the chat box. That's where we're at right now. We're just going to hang out and see who shows up. Here. You're on mute. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. You guys are all on mute. What were you saying? If I'm, mute, you, if I'm on mute, you can hear me. Yeah. But did you hear um, I said put your name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Do you do it with the chat button? Or yeah. with the oh. with the chat. Mm -hmm. um, it should be it should be blinking for you because I already typed in there. Oh, um, should I still put it in? Yeah. Okay. Like an introductory. Who are you? <laughs> And we have Sharon who's joined us. Hello, Sharon. Thank you for being here. And I want to see who else. I know once I get started, we're going to have a bunch show up. Because I want to ask questions throughout. Um, yeah. Mm, okay. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to, well, first, for the, for the ones who are here now, does anybody have any questions or comments before we get started? Okay, so what I want you to put in the chat box next is, tell us what it is that you want to manifest. So I'm going to be talking about how to manifest your man, but you can use this tool to manifest anything you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, right? Um, or person. It could be a new position at work, a car, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just you replace man with whatever it is you desire. So type in the box what it is that you want to manifest. And I'm I'm going to do it too because I'm always manifesting. And the thing about manifesting is that you, I'm going to show you how to do it, but there's also divine timing. The universe is going to bring to you what you're ready to receive. So you've got to be ready to receive this. So don't get frustrated with yourself when you're doing this and you're doing that, all the tools that I'm going to share with you tonight um, and what you desire is not showing up. Don't get frustrated because everything is in divine timing. And I'm going to give you an example of that. So here's what I am um, manifesting. More clients. Yes. Um, all right. Okay. So here we go. First thing you do is find yourself your sacred space, grab your favorite drink, have your favorite drink next to you. I usually have my water. Um, and how I open up my calls with my clients is we make a toast, we make an intention. So type in the chat box, what is your intention going into this, this, this call? What is it that you wanna get out of this call? So I'll make a toast. 
My intention in my toast is that you receive the exact message that you've been waiting for. Here, here. Okay. So, uh, it's my favorite thing to do. Okay. So tell me what it is that you want to create in your life. What is it that you want to manifest? Is it money? Is it the love of your life? Is it better relationships with the ones that you have now? What is it that you desire for yourself? Okay. So because in order for you to bring it into fruition, you have to claim it out loud. Okay. Remember, because every word, thought, feeling, and belief that we have is exactly what we're bringing into our world. All right. So tell us, tell us what it is that you want to manifest. Okay. So for the next 30 to 40 minutes, we may go a little longer. I don't know. It depends on how much interaction we have. Take this time to do you. That means find a comfy spot to listen to the call from, get your tea, your coffee or wine, whatever ready and by your side. Have some lit candles there and even some meditation music to get in that relaxing. This is how we bring things into ourselves, right? To get relaxed. So you can have some meditation music in the background. Shut off your phone and close out all of those other tabs on the computer. Just be here. Just be here with me. Just invest this time in you. This is so important because it is something that we rarely do as women, especially as women. Okay. Um, I promise you, you'll get more from this call if you have set yourself up in this kind of a surrounding. I call this my sacred spot, my sacred space. It's somewhere where I can get away from everything and just be with myself and whatever I am listening to. I even have my journal next to me, and you can too. That's great. So pause the call now. If you are on the replay, <laughs> pause the call, the, the call now and set your space up. Don't worry. We'll wait. All right. So we only have a short amount of time together and I want to give, give, give to you as much as I can. All right. And so let me introduce myself. If you don't know me, if you don't follow me, my name is Denise Dominguez. I'm a woman's empowerment coach. I specialize in helping women heal after toxic love, narcissistic relationships. I am a speaker, international bestseller. Uh, my book is on Amazon, if you don't know about it. But the truth is, is that life wasn't always this amazing for me. And in fact, there was a time when I would cry myself to sleep almost every night because I was so unhappy, so miserable in my life. And I often asked myself, is this it? is this it? Is this my life? My uh, then husband and my, our two children had built a 4,000 square foot mini ranch home on 10 acres that we had purchased as a vacation spot. And in 2008 or nine, it went into foreclosure and I was devastated. And so we had to leave. And we had to move into my mom and dad's house, which was a two bedroom, one bath. And so that's just the outside circumstances of what was going on in my life on the inside. The relationships, all of our relationships were truly just, um, they were tragic, really. There was a lot of drug addiction, drugs involved, and uh, we were separating. We were separating as a couple. We were separating as a family. We were being divided. And we allowed that to happen. So when I went from my gorgeous, custom built, 4,000 square foot home, two car garage on 10 acres, I mean, this house was beautiful. It was the exact floors that I wanted. It was, it was everything that I we put together, we, we designed the house ourselves. When I had to leave that and go to my mom and dad's two bedroom, one bath house that I grew up in as a child with their furniture in it and in the neighborhood that I grew up in, which by the way, went to the dumps over time, I was just 
I was miserable. I was truly miserable. I was miserable with my life. I was miserable with my relationship. I was miserable with the situation. I was just truly miserable. And so what I did, because we're, we all take action out of inspiration or desperation, right? It's either one or the other. You, you got to, you know, out of desperation, you got to hit your low. And that could be any level, depending on the person, in order for you to put that fire under your ass and make something happen. Or inspiration. You hear a talk, um, a post, you know, Tony Robbins or somebody, and you're just like wowed by what they're saying. And so it moves you into motivation and you take action. Well, this was that for me. Living in a two bedroom house, my parents' house that was falling apart, and having my son not even have a bedroom, and just I felt like a loser. I felt like I failed on so many levels. And then in 2008, my then husband attempted suicide in the house. So through all of that, that low point, these low points in my life is what motivated me to taking action. And so what I did is I was determined. This is part of manifesting right here. Here's tip number one. I was determined to get out of Dodge. I was determined to turn my life around. And I do have to say that I was scared for many, many years prior to this time. So what are my credentials? How am I able to sit here and talk to you about this and teach you this? As I described, my life wasn't always amazing. Um, but what I did was I climbed out of that and I, Moved out of Florida, moved to North Carolina with nothing but a futon couch and an air mattress. And I literally rebuilt my life. I rebuilt myself and I rebuilt my life. I invested in me heavily starting in 2014. And through the, the time and energy and funds that I invested in me, it catapulted me um, to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. So I truly was you know, even just leaving Florida and coming here had moved me out of my toxic situation and the toxic people, which allowed me to open up space to have opportunities. And when the opportunities knocked, I went for it. Yes, they were scary, but I went for it. Okay. And, and that's what you got to do. You have to trust your intuition and trust yourself that, and trust the process that what is in front of you is what you need right now because I had to do the work. And so through my coaching, my online interview series, my radio shows, books and speaking, I'm able to help women heal themselves. I had to heal myself first in order for them to heal the past and, and create a life for themselves that they now love and adore. But like I said, I had to do the work on me first in order for me to be able to truly help other women. Um, I'm not going to lie and tell you that I didn't try because I did because my first coach was a business coach and she told me to do, you know, X, Y, and Z. And so I was following what she said, but the, the, it wasn't in alignment. It wasn't there. The energy wasn't there because I hadn't done the work on me first and how is a wounded person, a wounded woman, going to help another wounded person heal? It just doesn't happen. So I took two years and dove, or 18 months, and dove deep into myself. Okay. So now I want to show you how I manifested $10,000 to leave Florida, that story that I was just telling you. How did I do that? How did I manifest $10,000 to leave Florida and move to North Carolina. This was one of the, the biggest times that I manifested. And this was way before coaching, way before I, I really knew what I was doing. And that's why I always bring this story to you because it comes from a place of where I was then, which is, you know, I don't want to give you an example of a story of now, because now I've had lots of you know, training and investing in me. So that wouldn't be fair to you. So that's why I tell this story. Okay. So how I manifested $10,000 to move, to leave Florida and move to North Carolina. 
and get away from my toxic relationship and create a beautiful life for myself. And I want you to really get where I was then because I was in a space of feeling heavy, okay? I was sleeping next to a very toxic person. Um, and like I said, this was before any, I had any coaching. I had no therapy, nothing. So if I can do that, take myself out, out of a bad situation with my words, thoughts, and beliefs, so can you. So put in the chat box, tell me what it is that you want to manifest. Is it a relationship? Is it a person? Is it um, a new car, money, a house? What is it that you want to manifest? Let us know what it is. So I don't know where you are in life, but you can make things happen. And that's my point to telling you that. Because when I manifested the biggest things in my life, I was stuck. And I had been stuck for many, many years. Hence why I didn't leave that relationship for so, much, so long. I had a broke mindset and I still created $10,000 to leave Florida. I was scared and with a scarcity mind, I was able to do this. Because the key to being in that space of consciousness and moving yourself out of and still being able to create is this. Here's clue number two, determination. How determined are you to get out of your situation? Okay, how determined are you? You have to be so determined to make this happen. Okay, this is gonna move things quicker for you. Like I said, that's how I did this in my toxic situation, right? Okay, so 2019, I know we're already on month three, the beginning of month three, but I can tell you right now, if you use these tools, it is going to be your year to shine, your year to roar. Hear me roar because this is what I demand, right? This is what you demand. You're gonna demand this. You're gonna believe it to be true. You're gonna believe that you already have it. This is how we manifest. All right. So even though I said that I was stuck and in a you know broke mindset and in a toxic situation, I don't want that to deter you in any way because I did it with having those things. So, so can you, all right? So don't worry about if you feel stuck right now, don't worry about if you have a broke mindset, all right? Don't worry if you're surrounded by unhealthy relationships because really, truly, all it takes is your thoughts, your words, your energy, your beliefs to bring what it is that you want, okay? So you can still create a year of you know, gold, a year of hearts, a year of manifesting, even from that space, because that's where I was. And I wouldn't be able to say this unless I did it myself. And unless I proved it to myself, that is the only way that I can, with all of my heart, tell this to you. The only way. I was in a scarcity mindset, broke and scared and to have, uh, with all the messed up relationships around me, truly toxic relationships actually. But I still made things happen and so can you. All right, choosing you as a priority, knowing that you are worth it and knowing that you can do it. That's what it takes, all right? So tips on manifesting. All right, so I didn't know how um, and you don't have to worry about all of that, how you must believe and how you must know that it's possible, that it is possible, okay? Because you can't have it all. I know there's a lot of limiting beliefs out there. I know that's even a limiting belief that I'm still working on, um, that I can't have it all. For many, many years, I said either love or success you know, what success looks for me, looks like for me. 
And a lot of people think this way. They think, I can either have one or the other. And since I have one, I can't have the other. That's not true. You can have it all. You really can. You can have it all. The key is for you to keep working at you being the best version of you. That's it. Just keep working at you being the best version of you. You can have it all. Now, when you set out your goals, and you also have to be realistic that these take time, okay? So whatever feels comfortable for you. So in my situation, in my scenario, when I was in Florida, I felt like five months was a good time span for me. Um, by the way, I didn't have a job when I manifested this $10,000. Um, I was in a very controlling relationship and I was being financially abused. So um, every, every money that came in was closely looked at. So I had to be very strategic in how I was going to do this. And I'm going to tell you how I did that. Okay. Because here's the other thing. When you are in a, when you're working with somebody who's manipulative and I may, and I know you may not like this word and you may not like what I'm going to say, but it's true. You have to manipulate the situation as well so that you get what you want coming out of it. Just because you're manipulating the situation, this one situation doesn't mean you're a manipulating person. It just means that you're using that right now to get what you need to get out. And that's what I did. So five months was comfortable for me to manifest it. And also when my daughter came to me, um, I think the end of December, 2010, she was graduating 2011 um, May. So that's also where the five months came from. It was like a plan. It was a plan I put in place. So tips on manifesting is you have to create a plan. Okay. Create a plan for yourself. Maybe you don't need to move three states away like I did. Maybe you don't need to leave a relationship like I did. Whatever it is, you still have to set a plan in place. And a plan comes with a date. Okay. Create a date. So for me, it was after graduation. So whatever that is, I don't know, May sometime. Uh, after our graduation, like the following weekend was the date I picked that we were going to leave Florida. Okay, so you want to create a plan. You want to create a date of when this is going to happen. Then you start moving towards that, okay? So set a time to reach your goal. What amount of time resonates with you? So tell me right now, put in the chat box, what amount of time resonates for you on what you want to manifest, okay? And here's the thing, when you come up with a timeline, don't think, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that in two weeks. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Remember, it's about how determined are you? Because like just uh, last month, I remember I was at a mastermind and I mentioned that I thought a thought one day to have these um, little baskets. I wanted these little baskets. And the very next day, I found myself in, uh, in a store. It's, it's my client's store. I was dropping off my book to her. And these little baskets had just come in. They didn't have the prices on them. So as I'm talking to her, I look down. There's these exact baskets that I visualized in my head. And I was like, oh my gosh. And, the, and I could tell she was just taking it out of the box. She was just, you know, they just came in. They didn't have prices on them. So I said, I'm going to take a look around, you know, the store and you tell me, you know, get your price because that's exactly what I wanted. And they were priced exactly right. And I purchased them. So yes, you can manifest quickly. Yes, you can. Okay. But you must be patient with yourself. And you must love yourself through this process. Okay, so that means don't get frustrated, don't beat yourself up. If, if it doesn't come in time or it doesn't come on, you know, when you set out and any of that, don't get into a place of frustration because that's only going to bring your energy down. You want to keep your energy as high as possible, okay? 
So number four, you want to be in a high frequency. Because remember, your energy and you're vibrating at a frequency like a radio wave. So if you have negative energy, negative thoughts, negative beliefs, you're talking negatively, then you are putting yourself at a lower frequency, a lower vibration. And everything is a match. Like energy attracts like energy. Everything is a match. So when you're down here, you're going to not only resonate here, but you're going to attract things in your life down here. So other people that are at the same frequency as you, other opportunities, other situations, other, 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 other is going to be all down here. So I know that's not where you want to be because you wouldn't be here on the call. You want to be up here. So you can attract again on the same level as up here. The same people like energy attracts like energy, the same types of situations on this frequency up here, a higher frequency. So you want to stay in a higher frequency. That means your emotions on a higher frequency. <sighs> yeah. Today is just, I just know today's going to suck. It's just, I know. I got out of work. Ugh, I hate traffic. Oh, God, I'm so tired. That's the lower frequency. That's the low vibrating uh, frequency that you don't want to be on versus, yes, I woke up this morning. Like, be grateful. <laughs> Um, I'm excited to go to work because I get paid for my freaking job and who cares if there's traffic? I'm going to listen to a positive, you know, a motivational speech or I'm going to listen to, you know, dancing music or maybe it's Friday or whatever. Like that's where you want to be. And that's when you're going to attract and bring in what it is that you want. Remember that. What frequency are you, are you resonating at? Okay, being patient with yourself, loving yourself, because this takes time. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, you can manifest things in one day, but not always, right? That's why there's a plan in place, all right? So, okay, so what I mean by this, when, when I, what I mean by you taking or it's going to take time is when you make a list of the things that you want to create, you're going to take the first three as a priority, and those are the ones you're gonna work on. So when I left from Florida to North Carolina, I had a list of, you know, I had to book a moving truck, I had to bring in money somehow, I had these lists of things. You can get overwhelmed with a list. So you're gonna take the first three as a priority, and those are the ones you're gonna work on. So like for me, um, I had to sell everything. The first, the first thought that I had to bring in money was to sell everything because I was moving. I didn't need any of it. Just get rid of it. I got rid of my husband's stuff. I got, just got rid of everything. Um, that's part of the way that I brought in money. Another part of the way was I knew dealing with this person that when I left, I was going to get nothing. I'd been married to this man for over 20 years, and I knew that he wasn't going to be kind. He wasn't going to be generous and say, listen, we have over 20 years together, so let me help you get started. Here's $5,000. Here's eight. Here's $2,000. Here's $1,000. Here's $500. That was not going to happen. So what I had to do was think of how I can bring money, get, get me money because I was leaving the state. So part of it was selling everything that we owned, you know, the furniture, the trailers, da, 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 da. and then the other part was um, in our business account, I wrote myself out a check for $5,000 and I took the money and sorry, like, I had, I had to do what I had to do. This is, you know, when you're in this type of a situation where you're dealing with a toxic person, you know that nothing good is going to come out of this breakup. You have to do what you have to do. So that was what I did. Okay. So priority, prioritize top three, 
the top three for you, the top three things that you must work on for you. Okay, top three. Okay, so, um, so that's how I manifested the $10,000. Um, I just started to, I was strategically planning in that five months, um, thinking of ways of how I can bring in money any which way. Another way that I brought in money was, uh, all right, so I sold everything. I wrote out a check for $5,000. Um, I also, um, my, my, the business account that we had, um, had points. It had points on his debit card. So every time he swiped his card, it created points. And then on, this was with Chase Bank. And then when you had enough points, you could purchase with the points gift cards at certain stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, um, Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, places like that. Food places, I'm sure, I don't remember. But so what I did was I accumulated a lot of points. And what I did was, is I took like, if say if this many points was $200, I would go and purchase um, a gift card at Bed Bath & Beyond or, you know, whatever. Um, so that was another way I brought in money because I thought, okay, well, this would be money that I would spend to get X, Y, and Z for the apartment or whatever. So instead of having actual cash, I had these gift cards. Um, and that's how I got my air mattress at <laughs> Bed Bath & Beyond. It was a um, very nice air mattress, still an air mattress. So that was um, part of how I brought in money. So I had to really think outside the box. Because remember, I didn't have a job. I was running his business. So I had to think of ways that I can bring in the money when I wasn't getting a paycheck every week. Like I said, the money was very... Um, closely looked at. So when I wrote out a check, it was exactly for the bills. So I had to think, how can I bring in money? So this is another reason why I said five months would be a good plan for me, good amount of time. Okay. So now let me, well, let me just check and see what you guys are saying here. Hello, everybody. Okay. Manifest good, positive thoughts to build a fun, exciting life. Yes. Who said that? At least everyone. Yes. Okay. Um, Sharon, my intention is to release, uh, limiting beliefs in all areas of my life to feel total happiness, joy, financial abundance, and amazing love with a high value masculine man who is spiritual, healthy lifestyle living, who enjoys traveling with me. Yay, Sharon. Okay. Financial, um, financial self Friendships, connections, include with husband, would be my great life. All right, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. All right. Okay, so getting back to manifesting. So the second big thing that I manifested was my coaching business. And I continue to manifest. And sometimes I manifest on a dime. Like... Like I have a goal for my monthly income and boom, I, I do that or come close to that. And then sometimes I, it takes a little bit of time. And so I'm not saying that you're not going to get frustrated. I understand you're going to get frustrated, but what I want you to keep in mind is, is even through the frustration to be patient with yourself, to, um, to believe in faith. Believe that, here's how I want you to visualize it. I want you to think of whatever it is that you want to create, abundance, relationships, someone you can travel with, you know, uh, healthier relationships with your spouse now, whatever it is, I want you to visualize it as if it's already here. You already have it, okay? So everybody close your eyes for a second, okay? Close your eyes. Get into a relaxing state. So just breathe. Take a deep breath in. Release it. Let it go all the way down. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Let it out. And now visualize what it is that you desire. 
okay? Put it in your head as if you already have it. It's yours, okay? So how do you feel? How do you feel already having this with you? You feel happy, excited, exhilarated. How do you feel? The feeling is what brings it in because the universe doesn't know the difference between imaginary and real. So when you sit in silence and you visualize as if it's already yours, it is. Feel that? Yes. That's part of manifesting. You visualize whatever it is you desire as if it's yours. I often think of the beach house that I'm manifesting. So I want you to think of whatever it is that you're manifesting as it's in a safety deposit box, okay? It's in your safety deposit box. And you know where it is. And you have the key. It's yours. And only when you're ready are you going to go get in the car, drive to the bank, unlock the safety deposit box, and take out your prized possessions. Okay? So when you think of it that way, that you already have it, it's already yours, because divine timing is, is a huge part of manifesting. So I, I often think about my beach house that I'm, and you have to be crystal clear too. That's another part of manifesting. You've got to be crystal clear. Details. Give the universe details. Because when you go to the sandwich shop, you don't say, I want a sandwich, do you? You don't because they would look at you like you had a third eye. You go to the sandwich shop and you order exactly the sandwich that you want. I want a six inch on wheat, right? Italian sub, no mayo, no mustard. I want the oil and vinegar on the side, right? You give these details. It's the same thing when you are calling it out to the universe. So when you think of manifesting, I want you to think of it as like a recipe, okay? Here's this recipe. And in the recipe, you have a certain amount of sugar. You have a certain amount of salt. You have a certain amount of whatever we're making. Let's say apple pie. Certain amount of apples. Um, a certain size of the crust. You have a certain amount of cinnamon. You have all these different yet certain amounts of this recipe to make a pumpkin pie or apple pie, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> right? You have all these different parts to make this beautiful apple pie. But if you don't have one of those ingredients, doesn't matter which one, one of them, one of two things is gonna happen to the pie. Okay, either it's going to taste like crap or it's not going to bake. One of the two. Same thing with manifesting. You have to have all of the pieces put in together in order for this to come to fruition. Okay, so you got to be crystal clear on what it is you desire and you visualize that. Take a minute to just breathe and visualize. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home. Even if it's just a corner, it doesn't matter. It's yours. So how did I manifest my coaching business? It's such an interesting story because um, I 
truly didn't know this, <laughs> that I would be doing this. Um, when I left my relationship and came here, like I said, I had run my ex's business in Florida. So I had the taste of that freedom, my own time, my own, you know, be at the office whenever I wanted. I could be in PJs if I wanted to. I had, if I needed to go to Publix, I need to go to the grocery store. I could just take the phones with me, um, and just go, right. I had this freedom and when I came here, I had to go back to, you know, the four letter word and get a three letter word, J-O-B. And so I did what I knew to do, which was medical sales. And I went back to that and it's nine to five, one hour lunch. You got to be here at this time. You got to listen to this call. You got to get blah, 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 blah. And so I quickly realized I was like, okay, I want to create a business. I want a laptop business. I want to do something that I can sleep and clients come in. I can be on the beach, vacationing, clients come in, online business. That's what I knew. So when I hired my first business coach, I knew two things. That was, I am an entrepreneur and I want the laptop life. That's it. That's the only two things that I knew. Um, when I got on the phone with my coach, my who turned out to be my coach, I had no intentions of signing, and but I did want those two things. And she asked me some powerful questions, which led to she was going to show me how to create an online audience. Okay, for what? I don't know, but I trusted. Here's where you have to be so in tuned with, in alignment with yourself. I trusted this process. I trusted her. I trusted what she was saying. And I said, yes, it was scary. It was a one-year commitment. It was pretty much the rent that I was paying in my apartment. I was making maybe 30,000 a year at the time. And I was financially on my own for the first time in over 20 years. So it was scary, but I said, yes, I took a chance and I did get scared during that year. I did try to quit during that year. She held me to my commitment, which I've learned through all of that to stay committed to myself. I finished the program. I created an online audience. I still create, you know, continue to create an online audience. This is why you're here. And my message, my core message, what my passion is, what I'm meant to do in life has every day become clearer and clearer. Because when I started this um, journey of online coaching, I thought I was a divorce coach and that didn't sit well with me. I didn't like the word divorce. I didn't like, because it was, cause divorce to me, it, there is an energy behind words. So to me, divorce is ending. It's like a, it's like a low, it's a low vibrating frequency word. I didn't like that. Got rid of that. Okay. Well, what kind of coach are you? Relationship coach. Yeah. Now I'm a, this coach, I'm a, that coach. <laughs> it's went like, you know, this and that, and this is right. This is part of the journey. This is like how you figure things out. You just go down the line. Whatever you resonate with, you, you resonate with. So finally, it was empowerment. I love that word, empowerment, uplifting. There's that energy behind it. It's like, yes, yes. A woman's empowerment coach. Love that even more. And, um, and so it was, you know, through that, that saying yes to myself, yes, it was scary. I was so out of my comfort zone. I even during that time, I think in the first six months of six or seven months being with my coach, like I said, I tried to quit twice. Um, when I went to go create my first online interview series, which is a funny story now, but at the time I was a freaking mess. I got scared. I rescheduled my launch date, which I had no clue. Like that's a huge no, no. Um, I, I was scared to interview people. I was just 
scared to put myself out there, just scared, just really, really scared. And so through that experience, I learned that, um, well, number one, everything happens for a reason. Number two, things turned out way better than I could ever have imagined to be sitting here and helping women heal after narcissistic uh, relationships, to teach women about self-confidence, um, self-awareness, um, self-worth, manifesting, you know, all the topics that I cover, never in a million years did I think that that's what I would be doing. But it all started with that yes. It all started with me trusting the process and saying yes to me. That's where it all began. And that's where it will begin with you when you start to say yes to you and stay committed to you. This is not about that I stayed committed to the, the, you know, the program and paid her the money. It's about I stay, stayed committed to me. And through that year, oh my gosh, I remember at the end of 2014 posting on Facebook that I was blown away at the growth I had done in the first year. Blown away. I just, I shocked myself. I was just like, holy crap, I can't believe what I've done this year was, was amazing. And every year got better, 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 better. 2015 is when Ray and I first got together in the beginning of the year. We moved in with each other. I bought a brand new car for myself for the first time in my life. I bought myself a new computer. I was just like, I had no clients at that time. Um, 2016, things started, they were better and better. Um, I had clients, I had a bigger audience to, you know, every year was just better and better and better. The end of 2018, um, I got engaged. I'm getting married next year. Like, holy crap. <laughs> right. It's just like, wow. Or was it 2017? Yeah, I think it was, two <laughs> I forgot when I got engaged. But every year gets better and better because it all started with that first yes. It all started with just that first time of saying yes to myself. And that is, tr listen, there's no difference between you and I. We are exactly the same. The only difference is that we're different versions of each other. I'm just a different version of you. You're just a different version of me. Okay, that's the only thing. And I reiterate that all the time because I want that to come across um, and being clear because it's the truth. It's the truth. We think of, when we, when we look at other people, you know, that's why comparison is such a big thing. We're like, oh, she's got blah, 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 bullshit. We're no different than each other. We're all connected. So I manifested my first coaching um, you know, how I manifested my, my coaching business was, was that it was thinking I can do that. How do I do that? Researching online, which was just basically like liking stuff. Um, when the opportunity came to me, I, I took advantage of it, got on the phone, trusted the process, said yes, stayed committed, even though I tried to quit twice, <laughs> stayed committed. And once you start seeing results, then you're like, yes, 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 I'm on fire, yes. So that's how I, you know, um, manifested my uh, business. And now, like, it's just so amazing. I just can't even express to you how amazing it is. What I do, the people that I'm surrounded by, my clients are amazing, my coaches are amazing. <laughs> it's just like, blows me away. Blows me away. Okay. So let me see what else you guys are saying. Um, when I was leaving NYC, I didn't have any extra money or every day I said, God, you know what I need to leave. I will wait on you because I know your timing is perfect. Beautiful. And, uh, I got a check in the mail from the IRS because I apparently paid too much in taxes. That sounds like you. <laughs> Then got another check from back child support. Woo woo! And someone who owed me money sent me. God, that's beautiful. I never thought that I would get either of those two. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Uh, last check arrived, totally confident that I was on my right path because the universe sent me. Yeah, and here's the thing about paths. We're all on the right path, right? It, like it's so beautiful because we are all on the right path. Even if it's like, it seems crappy, it seems like, you know, shitty, it's not. We're all on the right path. We were just talking about that today, weren't we, Elise? Okay, so are you ready to make your 2019 your best year yet? Put in the chat box, are you ready to make 2019 your best year yet? All right? Are you ready to make things happen? Are you ready to catapult your life? Like take it from one level and through the roof to the next level. Are you ready to witness some magic in your life? I'm going to show you how to make your dreams come to in 2019. A reality. Okay. Let's take it from this to tangible. Okay. Put in the chat box. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this, Denise. I'm ready to take action and make my dreams a reality. I want to manifest on a dime. I want to know how to create my dream life on a deeper level because that's what this is about. I've shown you the tools of how to manifest, but I want to take you even deeper into the manifestation because there's so much to absorb when it comes to this topic that it can't all be covered in one call. So I want to take you deeper and I want to bring in the laws of the universe to show you how to do that. Okay. So that's going to take more time and that's going to take more investment in, you know, in time in you. Okay. But here's the catch to all of this. You must choose you as a priority. Today I just posted one of my clients who's been with me. Um, since 2017, I believe. And she's gone through my one year, she's gone through my 12 week program, and now she's a private client of mine. And she posted today that she has scratched another thing off on her bucket list. She's manifested her trip to Belize because she has chosen her as a priority. She said yes to her in 2017. And through that working on herself and getting rid of the limiting beliefs that she's had about money, about her worth, about her business. This is a woman who had three jobs and in debt when we first connected, who now is quitting her full-time, one job, her full-time job, because her business is doing so well because of her mindset. And she's taken a trip to Belize. That is what is possible and so much more. So you have to choose you as a priority. This is where it all starts. You have to, you, you must be committed to this, this to equal commitment to you. You must believe that all of this is possible and that you are worthy of having it all, okay? I am worthy of having it all, okay? Say that, I am worthy of having it all. Have the attitude, energy to bring it on, baby, right? That determination has to overpower any fear that you have or any fear that's going to come in because your fears, your, your ego is going to try to sabotage you. Fear is false evidence appearing real. You have to have the attitude, the energy to say, bring it on. Okay, fear, what do you got? Come on, let's go. This is how you're going to manifest when you keep over, over, over all of these obstacles, all of these challenges that come to you because that's life. I can't sit here and promise you that nothing is ever going to happen because I would be straight out lying to you. And I can't wait to see what is waiting for you in 2019. And I'm excited to see it. Can you feel that energy? Can you feel like that excitement and that yes, that the power of yes? Okay, this is where you want to be. This is how you want to feel because this is how you manifest in this high vibration, this high frequency. So in order for you to manifest what you desire in life and continue to manifest, you must change the mindset. Trust yourself in the process and the flow of the energy. Allow it to come in and allow it to come out. Receive, be, patience, kindness, right? All right. 
So for being here and investing this time in you and in the energy, I'd like to invite you to the next level of you manifesting. March manifesting webinar, how to manifest the man of your dreams. You will get the one live call just like this. Okay. And I'm going to open up the lines in a minute to see if anybody has any coaching, anything that they need. Um, that dives deeper into manifesting your true desires. A personal customized workbook created with you in mind. I'll show you the workbooks that I create for my clients. This is part of my 12 week course, Empower the Woman Within. It has 12 weeks. You'll get this in a PDF. You can print it up if you'd like. Um, this is not the workbook you'll get. I'll have a customized one for manifesting, but I'm just showing you an example of, um, so, we have, you know, powerful exercises for you to do in the workbook and um, powerful questions for you to journal on. Okay. So you'll get the call. You'll get the call that dives deeper into the manifesting your true desires, a personalized workbook created for you in mind and the workbook that goes along with the call that you'll do this, that we'll do together on the call. And you'll receive two manifestation or two, man, two meditations. One is going to be on manifesting. And then one is going to be, it's a deep meditation. And then the other one is manifesting your man and delete and clear the old patterns. So it's a deep meditation that goes into clearing like all of your crap. Okay. So... Before I get into this, I want to um, just share with you quickly, like all of the tips that I gave you for manifesting. Because remember, manifesting whatever you want in life, you know, I titled this Manifest Your Man, and that's how I manifested Ray, was truly like just putting it out there. And I'm going to dive deeper into that into the next call, but truly putting it out there, um, what it is I wanted. So remember, it's like the recipe right? You have all of these things that you need to create this apple pie. So whatever it is, you replace apple pie with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in life. Everything is divine timing. When I wrote my manifesting letter, this is an exercise that I do with my clients. Um, I described the man that I wanted. No looks were in that email or that, that letter. It was who he was, how he made me feel, and who we were as a couple, okay? And when I, I found that letter recently, and I, I read it to my clients on a call, and Ray is exactly the plus. He's exactly those things. So one of the things that I said is I wanted him to have a really good relationship with his mom. That's important to me. Ladies, if you're dating somebody and he doesn't have a good relationship with his mom, that is like key number one. I know you've heard this before. Um, that's so important to um, how he treats that woman, the first woman in his life, is it's, it sets everything up for you, the woman in his life, right? So it was important to me. Having his own business was important to me so that we have that freedom to travel. Um, I just put all of these things in the letter, um, who he was and, you know, how he made me feel and who we were as a couple. And I manifested all of that. So I can't tell you what the timeline was because remember, I wasn't ready for that commitment when I wrote that letter. I thought I was ready, but I wasn't ready because when I wrote that letter, I was dating and I was a wild child, okay? So I was, let's just say I was wild. <laughs> so I wasn't ready. I wasn't emotionally attached. Uh, I wasn't, I was emotionally detached. I wasn't emotionally available to myself. Certainly I wasn't emotionally available to, you know, for somebody else. Um, I even remember saying to my dates, if there was more than one, um, you know, don't, don't get too attached because this is just fun. This is, this is not going to go, this isn't going to go anywhere. So 
when I wrote that letter, that's why divine timing is so important. This is why the frustration and the being patient and the whole re recipe all comes into play, right? Because you may think you're ready. You may think, yeah, I'm ready for that, but you're not. Because what stories are running in your subconscious mind? So that's why that, that trusting the universe and trusting the process all has to come into play. When I was ready, okay, Ray came into my life when I wasn't ready. And so we were friends from a distance, right? We went on one date and I was just like, mm, um, I just wasn't ready. And then we remained friends from a distance. We hung out once every six months, I don't know, go see a band or something. And um, I slowly, I was getting ready emotionally, right? Because that's what a relationship is. You have to be emotionally ready to be in a committed relationship. You have to get an equal to you. So I started my business um, learning and growing about me. And then um, we saw each other at a, a bar that we hang out in and we um, connected again, and that's when things started to take place. But it took me a whole year of um, the little pieces of me to get ready to be in a relationship. I really, truly started to um, be attracted to him from online because we were friends on Facebook, and his posts, and then the little time that we hung out together, like I just was little by little, I was liking him more, just liking him more, wanting to, I felt, I felt, found myself wanting to spend time with him more, right? And when we were together, I was having fun and feeling relaxed. Um, he never said a word about his ex-wife, which was so attractive to me because every other guy that I have dated, that's all they talked about was their wife cheated or whatever. Um, and so that told me about the relationships that he has. And so everything that I wrote in that manifestation letter is him plus. But here's the thing. And here's where the patience and the faith comes in. Because when we got together, he didn't own a business. So what I'm saying is, is that what you set out to bring in, it may not look exactly the way you, you pictured it, okay? Meaning he may not have the business or the job that you pictured. Keep manifesting. He may not look exactly the way you thought he was gonna look. He may not, I mean, I even put what, what he drives in my letter. He may not drive, <laughs> he may not live in the house. You know, there's all these things that it may not be exactly perfect, but you, your response, your only responsibility is to keep working on you to show up as the best version of you and to keep manifesting. Keep using the tools to manifest, okay? Does that make sense? Let me see if that makes sense. Um, uh, oh, thank you, Elise. Um, yeah, so <coughs> that's how you do it. That is how you do it, ladies. And so, does anybody have any questions? Put in the chat box if you have any questions. Okay, so getting back to the, um, sorry, my nose runs every time I coach. Um, getting back to, let me see what you said. One new message, and that's how you do it. Boom, baby, boom, okay. All right, so getting back to the deeper, the deeper manifesting, mess, manifesting, okay, the deeper call. Um, so you're going to get the workbook, a detailed personalized workbook. You're going to get two uh, meditations. Here's the thing about meditation. Meditating on certain things. So in the beginning of the call, when I had you close your eyes and relax, you get into like a meditative state. This is how source comes through to you. You just sit in silence and you just allow, just let yourself be, right? You get into like a different state and this is how you create ideas come in, the answers to the questions come in, like so much stuff comes in. Um, so that's why I'm putting two 
uh, meditations in here, and they're going to be deep meditations. Okay, so you get the workbook to call the two. Um, uh, what did I say? Meditations. All right. So here's the catch. You must choose you as a, as a priority and the commitment to you, right? You have to. It's like mandatory because if not, then it's, it's just a waste. Why are you here? So all of this is valued at over $250 easily. But for you, if you're not a client of mine, it's $97. And if you are a client of mine, it's only $47. I'm going to show you how to make your dreams come true in 2019 a reality Yes, I'm ready. So if you're ready for that, I'm going to um, give you the links to do that. And this is all going to happen on March 20th is the next one that's scheduled. All right. So the first link is if you are not a client. And then the second link is if you are a client of mine and all right so copy paste i'm going to open up the line see if you guys need anything any coaching tell me what you want tell me what you need um and so yeah march 20th how to manifest the man of your dreams i'm going to go deeper into the manifestation um deeper tools deeper understanding the laws of the universe are going to be implemented into this call. Um, the workbook that you can have in a PDF, however you like to have it and boom. All right. So I'm going to unmute everybody and see if anybody has any questions, comments, or what? Thank you, Linda. You're so sweet. <laughs> Anybody have any questions or need any coaching around this topic or bring it to me? What you got? I love this teaching. I've always been a fan of this particular subject because I really think it makes a huge difference in your life. Yes. I really do. It does. Yeah, on any any topic. And I think I think and you've said it a multiple times, but I, I'm going to even repeat it after you is that there's no, I'm not worthy of this. I don't deserve this. That's all bullshit. We are all the same. We're all human beings thriving and living on this planet, spinning around at the same speed. We're all the same. There's no hierarchy of people who are great and people who are not, people who deserve, people who don't. That's all, those are all lies. Yes. So I, I know Denise kept saying it, but I want to say it again. We're all even. You know, there's no one of us that's better or deserves that's that's nonsense so I really I think this is a what well, I'm so on fire for Denise's business because I know that she's changing the world one beautiful woman at a time I, I highly recommend her completely oh thank you yeah we're just different versions of each other that's all right. that's it. yeah like vanilla and chocolate but they're both <laughs> well it tastes great <laughs> it's just which, yeah. which one do you choose right Right, pistachio. <laughs> there you go. Rocky Road. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, Elise, do you have anything? Um, I was a little distracted by somebody at home here. Okay. So, um, so I understand the workbook and the call and the meditations. It's like for the for the current clients would be forty nine dollars. Am I right? Forty seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, and the, the continuation of this uh, webinar, part, the part two would be March 20th. Correct. Okay, and that's a free web webinar. Correct. No, that's, that's, the, that's the $97, or the, four, well, for you, it'd be $47. Oh, okay, that's, 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 that's the call, and that's, <clears throat> that's the call. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, I got you. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's uh, March 20th, I believe is in two weeks. I think it is a Wednesday as well. Um, let me check. Yes, it's in two weeks. It's on a Wednesday as well. And it'll be at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay. So basically be just a continuation, but I'm going to dive deeper. So that's why it's a paid webinar. 
Um, so again, if you're not a client, it's $97, you get all of that. If you are a current client, it's $47 and the links are in the chat. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to implement a lot of the laws of the universe because that's like such a strong, when we understand that such a strong connection and it brings it into, uh, you know, the tangible things that we're trying to manifest even quicker. Denise. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what, I don't know what to do with that link. Like once this closes, you know, I'll so send it to you. You could do that. Yeah. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. No problem. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not afraid to admit that I'm not familiar with doing something technology. No. Oh, no worries. No worries. Anybody else? It'll be it'll be an email too. Um, I'll send it an email for everybody. Everybody who registered gets a copy of this call. So when I send out the call in the email, it'll have the links in it too. Excellent. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Are we golden, baby? You're golden. You're golden. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I always have so much fun. I look at the time and I'm like, crap, I got to actually wrap things up. I got to get to the point here. I have so much fun doing this. It's so wonderful. I love it when you guys show up because it, it brings more energy and it's just like, you know, sharing yeah. is caring and I just love it so much. So thank you so much for being here. It truly does. It's a win-win for you and me. It truly is. I, I learn just as much from you as you do from me. So, um, I look forward to the next one in two weeks and you all know how to get in touch with me if you need me. And until then. All right. Bye. Bye.